and Lauren is ready to get this done. So how are we going to prove this, all right? Remember, in this class, our proofs are going to be done in what we call <laughs> two-column proofs. Two-column proofs. The purpose why we have two-column proofs is because I want to break it up into certain statements and reasons. And remember, each one of these statements is just going to be something that we know is true. You know it's true, your parent knows it's true, right? Something that you can agree upon. You can understand they're both true. So obviously, the first thing to go off what's true is what's been given to us. Now, unless the book is lying, but that'd be pretty mean. We're going to have to assume that the book is telling us what is exactly the truth, and we're just going to go by what their truth is. So they say um, triangle XYZ is equilateral. So that's a truth, right? Would you have that has, we have to agree upon that, right? It's given to us. So we say triangle X, Y, Z is equal lateral. And why do we know that's true? Because it's given to us. We did not assume it's true. We did not make it up. It was given to us to be true. So we can easily write that down. Does that make sense, Ariel, as being a good statement to write down? We know it's true, right? We know curfew's at 9 o'clock. Right? We know that's, that ni that's the date. 9 o'clock AM the next day. Right? So anyways, the next one. Y, WY, bisects <laughs> angle, angle Y. So W, Y, bisects <clears throat> angle Y. Why do we know that's true? Because that's given. Yes? Not right now. Okay. So we have these two truths, all right? So when you guys are creating, just hold on to it in a second. When you guys, hey, tomatelos. When you guys are constructing your proofs here in the next five minutes, make sure you set up everything so you can have the truths that you're being given. This is going to be the whole basis of our whole argument that we're going to try to make, all right? The next. All right, so triangle X, um, X, Y, Z is equilateral. Who cares about that? What does that tell us? Alex, do you know what, what is an equilateral triangle? Why, what does that tell us if we have an equilateral triangle? All the, sides are equal. All the sides are equal. So can I now do this? Can I do that? Yes. So if they're equilateral, what else does that tell us? Well, that tells us now line X, Y, is congruent to what line? What other line is XY congruent to? XZ. It is congruent to XZ. Um, I'm not going to use that, though, right now. That is true, though. But I'm thinking ahead just because I kind of know where I want to go. We could also say it's congruent to YZ. So I'm going to use that instead. And you, could still, you, could still, you could still write it down. It's just not really actually going to apply to our proof. Um, ZY. It's congruent to ZY. Now, why is that true? Why do you know that's true? And why? It's not your opinion. You know these are true. Why do you know these true? Because it's in the definition, I'm going to abbreviate this, of an equilateral triangle. The definition of an equilateral triangle is all the sides are equal. Do you guys get that? Does that kind of make sense? You know those are equal. They have to be equal to each other. That's not an opinion. I'm not guessing. I'm not assuming. I'm giving you guys a truth. Because it's based off a given statement that we, are, that we oh, were provided. The next one, line WY bisects angle Y. So it bisects the angle. Now, what does that tell you? If we know this bisects, what does that tell you about these two angles? If this has this angle, it bisects it. Now, if we have a line. Right? And we say a line bisects it. What does that tell you um, about the, my new line? Yes, Alex? Um, X, W, and DW are right. Well, it makes that line tr true. And then, Colin, so if I had an angle that was bisected, what does that tell you now? That yeah, that those two angles are cut in half, right? So therefore, at what Alex said is now I can say if this line bisects this angle, I can now say angle X y w is now congruent to angle z y 
W. Why do I know those angles are equal now? Because we know the definition of bisection, right? If I say something bisects it, that cuts it in half. I'm not making this up, am I? I'm just following simple rules and truths. Taylor, do you get that? Good. So that's the definition of angle bisector. If you have an angle bisector, it cuts the angle in half, right? <coughs> okay. So now we have a side. We have a side. We have an angle. The only thing we've learned for congruence, Gabriel, do you know one way we learn congruence of two triangles? Well, stop, actually, first of all. Let me th let's think again what this proof is trying to ask us. This proof is asking us, prove xw is congruent to zw. So we want to prove, Jared, that this line is congruent to that line. Is there any definition right now that we know that those are equal to each other? Yes. Well, see, the, the thing is, though, yeah, well, OK. Well, but the right now, though, we don't know that w, this line, wy, we don't know that bisects this line, though. You can assume it bisects it. Well, you can't assume, actually. But that's what I'm saying. That's what you're doing. You're assuming that it bisects it. But if it did bisect it, then yeah, we could prove those are equal to each other, because we could say that it's now a bisector. But we actually don't know that it's a bisector at this point. Uh, I'll pass it to him. He's back over there on his phone, which he's not supposed to be. Oh, burn. Oh, you're done with your test. Hey, actually, could you actually turn down the test right there? OK. So the next thing, guys, if I was able to prove, though, if I could prove that these two triangles are equal to each other, if I can prove that these two triangles, I'm sorry, are congruent to one another, would then that mean that these two lines have to be equal to each other? Yeah, third, third bin. Nope, nope, in those bins right there. If I say these two triangles are congruent, does that mean those two sides have to be equal? Yes. So I, now I need to prove congruence. OK. There you go. That's fine. Right there. Just OK. So the only way that we've learned congruence so far is by talking about side, 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 or side, angle, side. Now, so far, we're trying to prove these sides are equal to each other. So I don't have that side, and I could prove this side, but I need another third side, which is not going to work. So then I look at side, angle, side. Well, right now I have a side. I have another angle. For me to prove side, angle, side, I have to choose this side because my angle has to be what type of angle, Josh? Do you remember? What do we call those angles that are between two sides? In, 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 cool, 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 included angle, right? The angle has to be between the two sides for us to use side, angle, side. Now, Tyler, do you know or would you agree that why yw is equal to yw for both of these triangles. Is this side the same for both of those triangles? It's the same, right? Is there any way for you to, any reason for you to believe that those two, if it's the same side for both triangles, is there any way that it could not be the same length? Well, yeah, but still it has to, I mean, it's the same, it's the same side though for both triangles. It has to be exactly the same. So therefore, I can now say wy is congruent to wy. Why? Because it's the exact same side, right? Or the reflexive property. It's the exact same side for both triangles. They have to be equal to each other. So you'd say, you can just say same side. They have to be equal to each other, right? That's like me drawing something like this, right? If here, if I do rectangle or square, rectangle one and rectangle two, they both have the same side. It has to be the same length. All right? So I'm not done yet. But now I have side, angle, side. Do you guys agree? Side, angle, side. So now I can prove that triangle x, y, w is congruent to z, y, w. And why are those two triangles congruent? Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <sighs> nope, you may not. Oh, geez. Wow. OK. 
No. So you have these two triangles. Are they congruent? Of course they are. It's not my opinion they're congruent. I have step-by-step step proven that they fall under everything they need to be congruent. They are congruent because side, angle, side. However, that is not what I'm asking you to prove. That is not what I'm asking you to prove. What I'm asking you to prove is that this line is congruent to that line. Well, since these are congruent triangles, we know those two angles have to be equal to each other. So therefore, I can now finally say xw is congruent to zw. Why? Because the definition of congruence. If you have congruent triangles, their side lengths have to be congruent. Once I see that you have this written down, you can go.